St. James of the Marches Feast Day, November 28 The Divine Journey of St. James of the Marches Once upon a time, in the quiet town of Monteprandone, Italy, a child named James came into the world on a crisp day in the year 1391. He was born into a humble family, and little did anyone know that this child would one day embark on a remarkable journey that would inspire generations to come. James, a bright and inquisitive boy, was raised by his uncle, who happened to be a priest. Under his uncle's guidance, James learned the ways of faith and education, setting the foundation for his extraordinary future. As he grew, the young boy's thirst for knowledge only intensified, and he eventually earned a doctorate in canon and civil law from the prestigious University of Perugia. But the call of the divine was strong, and James couldn't ignore it any longer. On a fateful day, July 26, 1416, he made a life-altering decision and was welcomed into the Order of Friars Minor in the chapel of the Portiuncula in Assisi. This marked the beginning of his incredible journey as a Franciscan priest. James, now Brother James, dedicated himself to the teachings of St. Francis of Assisi, who emphasized a life of simplicity, poverty, and service. He continued his theological studies, guided by none other than the renowned St. Bernardine of Siena. In time, on June 13, 1420, Brother James was ordained as a priest, and he felt a profound sense of purpose. With unwavering faith and boundless enthusiasm, he embarked on a mission to spread the Word of God. His preaching echoed through the rolling hills of Tuscany, the picturesque marches, and the enchanting region of Umbria. For half a century, Brother James of the Marches became a beacon of hope and faith, a tireless missionary and preacher. He journeyed through lands near and far, carrying the message of penance and devotion. He combated heretics and faced adversity, but he remained steadfast in his commitment to the Church. Brother James was a man of wisdom and vision. He undertook diplomatic missions to Germany, Austria, Sweden, Denmark, Bohemia, Poland, Hungary, and Bosnia. His counsel was sought by both popes and princes, a testament to the profound impact he had on those he encountered. One of his most challenging roles was that of an inquisitor, tasked with confronting the Fratelli, a heretical sect that questioned the Franciscan vow of poverty. His dedication to defending the faith was unyielding, and he worked tirelessly to bring those who had strayed back into the fold. The crowds that gathered to hear Brother James were so vast that churches could no longer contain them. He took to the public squares, where he delivered sermons that stirred the hearts of thousands. At Milan, his words led to the conversion of thirty-six women with tarnished reputations, a testament to his ability to inspire change and redemption. But perhaps his most incredible achievement was the number of souls he guided back to the church. It is said that he brought fifty thousand heretics into the loving embrace of Christianity and led two hundred thousand non-believers to the waters of baptism. His impact on the spiritual landscape was immeasurable. Brother James, however, was not merely a man of miraculous deeds and conversions. His humility was as profound as his faith. Despite the fame and reverence that surrounded him, he remained a humble servant of God. In his final years, he resided in Naples, where he continued to spread the message of faith and hope. On Easter Monday in 1462, while preaching in Brescia, he delved into theological matters, raising questions about the precious blood shed during the Passion. Accusations of heresy followed, but no resolution was ever granted to his case, and the matter faded into history. In the end, Brother James of the Marches completed his earthly journey, 
leaving behind a legacy of faith, humility, and devotion. He passed away in Naples, and his remains found their resting place in the Franciscan Church of St. Maria la Nuova, where they can be seen to this day. Centuries after his passing, Pope Urban VIII recognized the sanctity of Brother James, beatifying him in 1624. The ultimate honor came when Pope Benedict XIII canonized him in 1726, cementing his place among the saints. Naples, the city he called home in his final years, venerates him as one of its patron saints. The story of St. James of the Marches remains a testament to the enduring power of faith, humility, and the unwavering dedication to a higher purpose, inspiring generations to follow in his footsteps and continue the divine journey of spreading love and faith to the world. Folded Hands Embrace Daily Inspiration from the Saints Folded Hands are you ready to infuse your life with the wisdom and blessings of saints like St. James of the Marches? Subscribe to our channel for daily doses of inspiration that will uplift your soul. Sparkles join our community and share your blessings in the comments section. Let's spread love and positivity together. Sparkles don't forget to share this video on your social networks to brighten someone else's day with the wisdom of the saints.